hello dear student today we will learn more on windows 10 so watch the video very carefully i hope so you understand everything now let's start the video windows 10 is the latest and the most secured version of windows introduced by microsoft with advanced and much improved features it is easy to use and provides user friendly environment you get more security features and ongoing updates in windows 10 to help safeguard against current and future threats Due to its amazing features, it is gaining popularity day by day. In the previous class, you have learned about some of its unique features like Cortana, the search tool, Snap Assist, the Windows Store, and a bundle of universal apps etc. In this chapter, you will be introduced with some more innovative tools that help to get things done fast. Students know that to create a new blank desktop, press Windows key plus Ctrl plus D shortcut key combination. Let us first discuss the new features of Windows 10. Windows 10 is loaded with multitasking tools, a custom start menu, live tiles, snap assist, task view and virtual desktops to keep you organized, focused and ready for anything. A few distinctive features are as follows. More personal. You enjoy Windows 10 like a more personal digital assistant. The best windows as yet for gaming and providing features that enable your device and phone to remain in synchronization. Continuum. The new feature Continuum in Windows 10 helps the operating system to work better with devices that support both a mouse and a keyboard and a touch input. For convertible devices, there are two modes, tablet and desktop. When you wish to use tablet mode, click on the notification icon present on the notification area of the taskbar. This will open the action center pane on the right side of the desktop. Click on the tablet mode button placed at the bottom of the action center pane. In tablet mode, the start menu opens in full screen along with a currently active window, if any. Apart from that, tablet mode maximizes all the apps, removes your taskbar icons and leaves only essential notification tray items. The taskbar in tablet mode displays only the start button, back arrow, search icon and the task view button. Windows 10 automatically changes to this mode if it detects that there is no keyboard attached. Task View Task View is another interesting feature of Windows 10 that enables you to organize the applications running on your computer. You can create multiple desktops and can view all of them together by clicking on the Task View button located on the taskbar. When all the desktops are in view, you can also drag and drop an app from one desktop to another. Note this important point. In Task View pane, you can close the current desktop by pressing Windows key plus Ctrl plus F4 shortcut key combination. Searching made easier. Windows 10 has the most enhanced and powerful search tool, Cortana, which answers all the questions that you ask, either in text or verbally. But for that, you need a microphone to talk. Here are certain things that Cortana do for you. It can play music, games, set alarms and reminders, take notes, send emails, create and manage lists, and find files, places and information, open any app on your system and browse the web to respond to your query. To turn Cortana on, click on the search box on the taskbar, followed by another click on the gear icon on the left side of the displayed menu. A settings menu will appear in the right pane. Turn Cortana on by moving the slider to the right in the settings menu. Cortana will start gathering information about you. Once activated, it becomes visible on the taskbar as can be seen in the figure. You can also activate Cortana by giving voice command. Hey Cortana, if you have a microphone attached to your computer. Okay students, let's know more. Cortana can also be activated by clicking on the search box followed by a click on the small Cortana circle displayed on the lower side of the menu. Edge 
The Windows 10 browser, Edge, enables you to conduct a safe and quick search on the internet. It also provides a reading mode that opens a web page, displaying only the text and hiding all other distractions, such as graphics, images, etc. You can also save your articles and annotate the web page directly. Action Center The new notification center of Windows 10 displays alerts for your device and all the apps in a slide-out pane on the right side of the desktop. The upper part of the pane displays tips and app notifications, whereas the lower part displays a series of quick action buttons. These buttons enable you to perform actions, such as adjusting the screen brightness, turning Bluetooth on or off, switching to tablet mode, etc. Along with notifications, security tips, alarms, reminders, etc. are also displayed in Action Center. OK students, know that quick actions are a set of tiles that give access to frequently used settings and tasks. Windows Hello Windows Hello is Microsoft's new built-in biometric security system for Windows 10. It allows you to sign in to your system using data like fingerprint, face or iris recognition. Biometric logins are secure, fast and easy to create. Windows Hello requires appropriate hardware devices to be connected to the system for its proper working. Students, let us know more. Steps Recorder is a tool that helps in troubleshooting a program occurring on Windows 10. It creates a file that contains screenshot of every action that is performed on the system. Description of the action in plain English and the exact date and time of action which helps in solving the problem. Let's now learn how to create a new desktop. In Windows 10, you can create multiple desktops for organizing different sets of applications. To create a new desktop, follow the given steps. Click on the Task View button located on the taskbar. The Task View pane opens and displays the preview of all the open windows. Click on the New Desktop button placed at the bottom right corner of the Task View pane. A new desktop thumbnail named Desktop 2 appears. Click on the thumbnail to view the newly created desktop. It is a replica of Desktop 1 but doesn't display the applications opened in Desktop 1. You can open the apps that you want to use on this desktop. You can group the desktop windows by opening similar kinds of apps in one desktop. Click on the Task View button again to switch between desktops. Now we will talk about moving apps between desktops. Follow the given steps to move an app from one desktop to another. Open the Task View pane by clicking on the Task View button. Place the mouse pointer over the desktop thumbnail. It will display the thumbnails of all opened apps. Right click on the app that is to be moved and select Move to option. This will display the desktop list that you have created. Choose the desktop to which you want to move the app. Let me give you a tip. You can also drag and drop an application window from one desktop to another. Let me now tell you how to close a desktop. To close a desktop, open the Task View pane and place the mouse pointer on the desktop you want to close. Click on the Close button present in the upper right corner of the desktop thumbnail to close the desktop. Let us now discuss about utilities of Windows 10. Windows 10 provides many utility programs for day-to-day -day applications and entertainment. For example, Windows Media Player, Disk Cleanup, Steps Recorder, Character Map, Notepad, Shape Collector, Math Input Panel, etc. Let us first discuss about Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player runs and organizes the digital media files, both audio and video, available in computer memory. We can listen to the radio stations from all over the world if internet connection is available. This software allows us to play, copy and create CDs or DVDs and copy music and video to portable devices. Students note that MPEG H is a group of standards developed by the Moving Picture Experts Group, MPEG, for a digital container standard, audio and video compression standards. 
Now let us learn how to RIP copy CD to your computer. We can copy songs from our favorite music CDs or DVDs onto your computers with Windows Media Player. When we rip music, we are actually copying songs from a CD to a computer. After the songs have been copied to our computer, we can use Windows Media Player to play and organize the songs, create playlists and copy music to a portable device. Click on the Start button and then choose Windows Media Player from the list. Insert an audio CD or DVD in the CD or DVD drive. You will see a list of songs stored on the CD DVD in the Windows Media Player. Uncheck the checkbox next to any song that you do not want to rip. You can use the checkbox at the bottom of the list either to select all or clear all checkboxes at once. When you are done with the selection process, click on the Rip CD button. The ripping process will start and you can see the rip status of individual songs. To stop the ripping process at any point, click on the Stop Rip button. Click on the Rip Settings button if you want to change the format, audio quality of ripped music files or you can keep the default Windows Media Format settings. The songs are ripped to the music folder contained in this PC folder. After the songs have been ripped, go to the music folder to play them. Alright student, now let us give you a tip. You can also burn a CD or DVD using software like Nero, Express Burn, etc. Copying data to CD or DVD, burning a CD or DVD. Saving important information on a CD or DVD is as easy as saving on a hard disk. You can create your own CD or DVD by selecting a folder of software or media files and dragging it to CD or DVD icon in this PC folder. Insert a blank CD or DVD in the CD or DVD drive of your computer. The Burn a Disk dialog box appears. Mention the CD name in Disk Title text box. Select the option with the CD or DVD player and click on Next. An empty disk folder opens. Drag the files that you want to burn into this folder. Click on the Finish Burning option under the Manage tab. Again, a Burn to Disk dialog box appears. Click on the Next button. Windows Media Player will open. Click on the Start Burn button placed under the Burn tab. The songs will get burned to the disk. Ok, now let us find out how to play a movie using VLC Media Player. VLC Media Player is an easy to use application used to play almost all types of audio and video files. To play music using VLC, follow the steps. Click on Start. Scroll down to Video LAN. Then go to VLC Media Player. The VLC Media Player window appears. It displays various commands that control VLC. Select the Media tab and click on Open File. The Select one or more files to open dialog box appears. Select the audio or video files that you want to play and click on Open button. With VLC Player, you can also create a playlist which is basically a list of all your favorite songs or videos. To do so, click on Tools then go to Playlist. The Playlist dialog box appears. Click on the Add to Playlist button followed by Add File option. The Open dialog box appears. Browse the files and click on the NQ option. In this way, you can add the desired files to the playlist. After arranging the list, close the Playlist dialog box and click on the Play button. You can also rearrange or repeat the songs in the playlist by clicking on the appropriate options. Students note that VLC Media Player provides a very attractive feature that enables you to take screenshots of a video while playing it. To capture a snapshot, go to Video and then go to Snapshot. Alright, let me explain you about Disk Cleanup. If you want to remove some unnecessary files from your hard disk to free up the disk space and to help your computer run faster, you can use Disk Cleanup feature. 
It empties the recycle bin, removes the temporary internet files, downloaded program files, offline web pages, and other items that are not being used for a long time. Let us understand this through an activity. Disk Cleanup. Click on Start. Then go to Scroll Down to Windows Administrative Tools. Then go to Disk Cleanup. Or type Disk Cleanup in search box and press Enter. The Disk Cleanup Drive Selection dialog box will open, asking you to select the drive. Now click the drop down arrow and select the drive that you want to clean up. Click OK. This function will search and display the unnecessary files which can be safely deleted. Select the files that you want to remove and click OK. Now let us learn how to work with the control panel. Control panel is a system folder using which we can make changes in the appearance and current settings of the windows. These may include Appearance and personalization of the desktop Hardware and software setup and configuration System and security Networking and internet User accounts and family safety Setting clock, language and region these settings control nearly everything regarding Windows appearance, internal settings and personalization. They allow you to customize Windows the way you want. You can open control panel in the following way. Click on the star then go to scroll down to Windows system. Select control panel from the displayed sublist or type control panel in the search box and press enter. Change the date and time. This option allows you to change the computer's date and time. Click on the date and time option in control panel. The date and time dialog box will appear. By default, the date and time tab is selected. First, let us find out how to change the date. Click on the change date and time button. The date and time settings dialog box will appear. Select the current day in the displayed calendar. You can change the month using the forward or backward arrow buttons present on the calendar. Let me now tell you how to change the time. To change the hour, select the hour in the text box located below the clock. Click on the spin arrows to increase or decrease the hours as desired. Similarly, you can change the minutes and seconds. Click OK. The date and time settings of the system will change accordingly. Now let us talk about fonts. Different styles of writing, characters or text in a specific size are known as fonts. Some of the popular fonts are Arial, Calibri, Vardana, Times New Roman, etc. Font settings are used to change the display of text on the screen as well as on the paper while printing. You can use control panel to view fonts, add new fonts or delete existing fonts. Let us see an example here. Click on the fonts option in control panel. The fonts window appears. To view the sample of a font, double click on any given font. To add new fonts to the font list, follow the given procedure. Open this PC folder by double click its icon on the desktop. Select the appropriate drive and then open the folder that contains the new fonts. Select the font that you want to add and drag it to the fonts window. The new font will be added in the list of existing fonts. You can also copy and paste the desired font in the fonts window. You can also delete the existing font. To do so, select the font that you want to delete. Click on the delete button present above the font thumbnails. Changing the mouse settings. You can customize the mouse settings in various ways such as changing the appearance of mouse pointer, changing the functions of the mouse buttons or altering the scroll speed of the mouse wheel. Select the mouse option in the control panel. The mouse properties dialog box will appear. The buttons tab is selected by default. 
It provides options to change the settings of mouse buttons like swapping the functionality of the left and right button, increasing or decreasing the double click speed etc. Under button configuration section, select the checkbox to make use of the right button for the primary functions like selecting and dragging. To change the double click speed of your mouse, drag the slider towards left to make it slow and towards right to make it fast under the double click speed section. To test the speed, double click the folder given on the right side. If the folder does not open or close, try using a slower setting. To change the appearance of your mouse pointer, click on the pointers tab. Here you can change the size, color and shape of your mouse pointers. To change the pointer image, click the scheme drop down list and choose any mouse pointer scheme. You can also change pointer images for particular functions like normal, select, busy, etc. To do so, click the pointer function in the customize section and then click on the browse button. Double click on any file name and observe the change. Click on the apply button to incorporate the change or click on use default button to return to the default setting. You can also adjust the speed of your mouse pointer by clicking on the pointer options tab and dragging the speed slider present in the motion section. Drag the slider from slow to fast under the motion section. Click on the apply button and then click OK. Let's now learn how to replace double click with single click. Windows has a feature to replace double click setting of a mouse with a single click to open any file or program. Follow these simple steps and forget the practice of double clicking the mouse forever. Click on the File Explorer options in the Control Panel. The File Explorer options dialog box appears as shown in the figure. Turn on the single click to open an item option present under Click Items as follows section. From the single click sub options, prefer to turn on Underline Icon Titles only when I point at them option. Click on Apply and then click OK. Enjoy the experience of working with single click now. Remember to select any item from a list. You just have to place the mouse pointer there. The item would be highlighted. To open any program or document, just click on it. Power Saving Modes First, let us talk about Sleep Mode. Sleep is a power saving state wherein a computer does not turn off completely. In this state, monitor and hard disk are turned off. All the open documents and applications are put in RAM and system draws a small amount of power. It allows a computer to quickly resume full power operation when you start working again. Sleep mode is useful if you want to stop working for a short time. Follow these steps to put your computer in sleep mode. Click on the power options in control panel. Click on the change plan settings option next to the power saver radio button. Choose the duration of 2 minutes from the drop down list of the put the computer to sleep option. Click on the save changes button. Ok now we will talk about hibernate mode. Hibernation is a state in which a computer shuts down to save power but first saves all the open document and running applications in the memory on hard disk. When you restart the computer, your desktop is restored exactly as you left it. Ok, let us learn how to enable hibernation. Right click on the start button or press the windows key plus X. A power user menu appears. Select command prompt. Admin and click on the Yes button in the User Account Control dialog box. On the command prompt, type the command power CFG slash H on and press Enter key. Now type Exit and then press Enter to close this window. Now open Control Panel by clicking on the Start, then go to Scroll down to Windows System, then go to Control Panel. Click on Power Options. A power options dialog box appears. Click on the choose what the power buttons do option present on the left side and then click on change settings that are currently unavailable option. Now under shutdown settings click on the hypernate checkbox and then click on the save changes tab. 
Now you will have hibernate option as a part of the power button in the start menu. Let me give you a tip now. Click on the start button and then click on the power button. Select the desired option from the display list such as restart, sleep, hibernate, shutdown, etc. to put the computer into the 